Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're celebrating reaching 10,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. So let's paint a llama because it's fun and the techniques are rather similar to the sheep we painted the other day. So before you grab your paints and that we'll get started, I've got a little giveaway for you all. I'm giving away to celebrate the 10,000 subscribers PDF floral worksheets from my art supply shop on the website. Now below in the episode notes is a code you can enter to get yourself one free worksheet as a thank you. So let's get started. Okay so for the llama we just need one little bit of pencil which is to mark out the little saddle that's going to sit on the llama's back. So I've just done a very, very simple semicircle shape and just out of shot up here, I've got a bit of a shadow mix, very, very dilute indeed. And I am now going to paint rather similar to the sheep from a few weeks ago, a fluffy body shape. The difference with a llama is it's got a long neck and the legs are just a little bit more pronounced out of the body so I'm doing these two slightly lower fluffy clouds and then upwards with the body shape so this color is like I say the shadow shadowy mix but it's so dilute and you can see it's it's got a bit more brown in it than than blue and it's probably a little bit difficult to see to be honest but as it dries we'll get a beautiful papery thin edge so we're getting up to the top of the head what I'm going to do is a bit like with the sheep I'm going to create a little unpainted gap here which when it dries we will add in a face but just with my size 2 brush here I'm going to do two little loops for the ears and then I'm going to add a little bit of darkness to my shadow mix and I'm going to paint in some legs in exactly the same style as our sheep. So we're relying on all the lovely simple wet on wet watercolour techniques that we've started to become quite familiar with with my little simple animal paintings. Um, it's such a joy to be painting this llama. Llamas are incredibly popular in terms of the bright colours and tassels that we keep seeing um, adorned over all sorts of design uh, but of course the cultural significance there, the Peruvian decked out llama um, is something that's so stunningly beautiful but had a actually a functional purpose I was reading about. The, um, the ears were often tasseled for shepherds to be able to identify their, um, their certain llamas from the flock. A bit like how we um, do get a sort of spray painted number on the side of a sheep. And then the beautiful tassels and pom-poms and colours and embroidered fabrics um, were put on these llamas for parades and festivals so it felt like a suitably celebratory reason for celebrating our 10,000 subscribers. Now I'm going to have my llama holding a few balloons. So I'm just getting some opera rose mixed up here. It's a beautiful, very bright pink. And with my large brush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint sort of outer edge of a balloon shape and get a little bit more control so I want my slightly smaller brush. I'm just going to fill that in with water leaving a tiny bit of a, an unpainted space just to get the shine on the balloon and then I'll do an orange one as well. That slightly smaller brush still gives a really nice large brush stroke. So then I clean off my brush and then just draw it in. Leave that little bit of shine. I 
Okay, and then we just need a little tie on the bottom of both the balloons. So I've just got a bit more of the concentrated opera rose. And that just blends in rather nicely. And a little dab of cadmium orange on the base here. And that's really lovely. Okay, so we just need that all to dry fully. Then we can keep going. Now it's lovely and dry and that colour of the llama is really coming out now. Um, so we've got some decorative detail to do and the face. So first off, I've got just a, a sort of peachy colour to fill in the face. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it down, have a nose coming out, bring it up and then there we go and we'll just let that dry Maybe just make that a bit longer there we are lovely and now time to do some decoration so I'm going to start off with some lighter colors I'm going to go for some really nice vibrant shades in my palette but like I say I'm going to make them quite dilute and as this is a fairly um, loose styled painting I'm going to do some fairly simple decorations just by painting in some rainbow shades and it's really important that you start off with these being quite dilute because we're going to build up detail and colour on top of them so I'm just painting in some u-shapes in the orange and the opera rose and now i'll go for some cadmium yellow really nice and then i'm going to get a slightly more concentrated version of all of these colors and i'm going to do some little garlands around the neck of my llama so for now just some bands really nice so as I said we're just over the moon at reaching 10,000 subscribers thank you so much it's been the most amazing experience um, getting to know you all and and receiving your wonderful messages and your feedback and that's really helped us improve our offering you know we've been doing more zoom ins more close-ups um, and also being able to respond to the kind of content that you've been suggesting for us so thank you so much and as a token of our gratitude I've got a code in the episode notes below where you can get yourself one free watercolor tutorial PDF from my art supply shop in the works um, in the on the website. Um, I'm just reaching out of shot at the moment because I'm getting myself a little bit of Mars black to do the. I'm going to put some messages on the balloons whilst this is all drying. So I'm just going to turn my page round, and on the subject. to do some simple lettering because we certainly well when we set out starting our YouTube channel all I wanted was to be able to reach more people with the joy of watercolor basically because we were all struggling a bit in lockdown but there was a wonderful appetite to learn watercolor and I thought well I would love to be the person who guided you through that experience and um, since then well it's been an absolute amazing ride so thank you and it's not over yet in fact it's only just beginning I'm very very excited for the future hmm <laughs> So there we go. Right, 
Let's now fill in a little bit of detail on the face. So I've got my really small brush here. It is a four tenths and I'm going to get a little bit of, oh, my brush has still got the black on it. That's what you really want the kitchen roll for to be able to blot off your brush and really make sure it's clean. So a bit of the pink, a little bit of the red and a bit of that peachy color. I'm just trying to make a sort of rosy cheek color for my llama. Lovely, don't need much color at all. It's looking really nice and then I can go back to the black and put in a little detail for the nose and the mouth. So I do a little squiggle for the nose and the llama's smiling, he's happy too that we've made 10,000 subs and a little eye. Okay and then we've got the strings of the balloons so I'm going to have them coming out of his mouth so we'll have a string there then I'm just going to turn it round Barely any paint left on that brush. Let's see if we get a bit more. There we go, fun. Now the colour on the saddle there looks like it's drying rather nicely. So I'm going to use my smallest brush yet again. And I'm now going to add in some stronger colours. I'm going to use my larger brush just to mix them up though because it's a little bit less time consuming. So I've got two different turquoises here which I'm just waking up with a bit of water. It's funny they always look so serious and dull in the palette but when we put them onto the page it's always much more pleasantly surprising. Okay. So with my thinner brush I can now do some finer outlines so then we've got slightly more bluey turquoise and then we can also do things that aren't just lines, we can do details like the sort of stitching. Let's keep turning it around. And then, I'm just going to fill in that central bit with a nice bit of yellow slightly brighter now. And now I'm going to use those first colours I started with, so the Opera Rose, and I'm going to get it much more concentrated. And this time I can add in more detail. So this time we'll do some dashes. It's really up to you what you'd like to pop in. just make sure that your layers beneath are dry before you do so. Lovely, and now we must have some tassels or some pom-poms, mustn't we? So on around the edge, I'm gonna start with some Opera Rose dabs. I'm 
again using the concentrated colour and then just for a few towards the bottom of hair on my brush we'll add some of that and then for these stripes on the side now that have now dried you can start adding a few little pom-poms and really it's up to you to just go to town with this but what's cool is you've already learnt the technique of creating the body shape from doing the sheep painting uh, a few sessions ago and it was lovely to see how many of you came up with some really gorgeous fluffy fluffy sheep there I do love a jolly sheep um, and the llama is a wonderful companion project to that gosh I could just keep going <laughs> with all these different details and colors but yeah just doing the tassels all I'm doing is a few little dashes coming out from the front and we'll just finish off with some blue pom-poms just give it a little blow, a little bit of fluff and there we go a celebratory llama to say thank you very very much for subscribing and helping us reach 10,000 Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed that one. And I also hope that you enjoyed that PDF watercolor worksheet that you can have for free on my art supplies shop in the website. So the code is down below in the episode notes, which you type in at checkout. And I want to say a big thank you to my patrons for your support because your support enables me to keep creating these videos that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you're getting on. And of course, if you subscribe, then you'll never miss another video. Until next time, bye!